You think about the one in five hole for the Chiefs. First, they get the win over the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that brought them to two and five. But then they face a different challenge entirely. Yes, it was the one in six Detroit Lions, but when you only have two wins to your name, how sure of yourself could you possibly be? This game wasn't in Kansas City, it wasn't in Detroit. It was over an ocean that took a 10 hour plane ride to cross. But the Chiefs couldn't afford excuses. They couldn't afford to lose. Hear that? London was calling. Today, this morning, two kingdoms unite. The Chiefs kingdom meets the United Kingdom at historic Wembley Stadium in Northwest London as the NFL International Series continues. Hey, let's get it, man. Come on. Different country, same mindset, baby. Mm -hmm. Spare nobody. Spare nobody. We're in the same situation. Let's get it. Uh -huh. But we're still on the same mission. Fam on two, one, two. Bam. You know, they found out what the formula is last week. The offensive line does a much better job. What happens? You got a young running back, 110 yards rushing. And so they ought to get after these people very early. All right, we are set. The Chiefs won the toss and elected to defer. Cairo Santos kicks it off, and we're underway in Wembley. As a result of a number of disappointing offensive performances, the Lions entered the game having shaken up their coaching staff earlier in the week. And with a new offensive coordinator taking the reins, eyes were on Matthew Stafford and how his team would adjust. The guy with the ball in his hands, the quarterback, He's got to be comfortable. This change was made to make Matthew Stafford play even better. Quarterback on first down, Matthew Stafford on a play action pass. Throw on long left, and the pass is caught on the far sideline. It is caught there by Megatron. Stafford at his own 31 yard line with first and 10. Left side run. Good hold. Bell breaks through. Turns it into a big gainer. And he's shoved out of bounds. Near the 35-yard line, make it to 37, a gain of 32. This is not the way the Divas wanted to start this ball game because they're getting marched upon. Yeah, so far the Lion offensive line is winning the day. The Lions traditionally start very fast. I mean, they've, <clears throat> they've got explosive players on the on the offensive side, so it's a great challenge for you defensively. First drive for either team, but the Lions are threatening in the red zone. On second and six, Stafford in trouble, down he goes. First sack of the game, and it belongs to Ron Parker, the safety. Third down and 10 for the Lions. Big early play in this game. Circling around, they fake a draw. Wide receiver screen, Theo Riddick. And a great job by Derek Johnson. Reading the play and turning it outside in was Derek Johnson and Justin Houston. So the Lions get all the way down to the Kansas City 17 and stall. The Lions may have stalled in the red zone. But the Chiefs offense had struggled to keep from stalling on third downs through the first seven games of the season. In the opening drive of this game, however, Alex Smith and company reversed that trend. Third and five, Len, for the Chiefs, they have the ball at their own 49 after an excellent kickoff return by Niall Davis. Chiefs last week were much improved on third down. They have third and five here. They've gone from last in the league to 27th in the league in third down conversions. Snap. Face mask high to Alex Smith, throws right, Kelsey, complete inside the 40 and down to the Lion 35 yard line. So the Chiefs get a third down conversion and a gain of 16 yards. On third and seven. Alex Smith short to Travis Kelsey, another first down. The big tight end again, tough to cover. Well, Kelsey's gonna run a simple shallow cross across the field. They tried the linebacker early. Now they put a cornerback on him. A little traffic there. And Kelsey outruns the cornerback, Josh Wilson. This guy has big time talent at that position. And Alex Smith understands he's got to feed him. The Chiefs have second and six. They have run inside those wide ends. Now Alex Smith's in trouble. He's going to scramble. He's at the 15, moving right to the 10 and slides to the nine. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. They motion. The Anthony Thomas, he goes the other way. Now they come on a reverse to the near side and a quick run, touchdown, Kansas City! A little bit of a trick play as the Chiefs brought a quick jet sweep to De'Anthony Thomas and the Chiefs find the sweet nectar in the UK. The key blocks by the two tight ends, Kelsey and Parker, Ziggy Ansah frozen, beautiful block line, Travis Lewis and De'Anthony Thomas just jogs into the end zone. That's really well executed by the Chiefs. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go. The defense kept momentum on Kansas City's side, forcing three and outs on the following two Detroit drives, thanks to a few exceptional third down stops. Matthew Stafford and the Lions. 
Third down and three from their own 20 after the Chiefs just had a touchdown drive. Now a quick throw. Look that down. Terrific play on the far side and nearly a pickoff. Uh, that's an outstanding play by Hussein Abdullah. He's going to be right here in the slot. They go with a three-man rush. Justin Houston drops out. He just reads the eyes of Stafford, goes and makes a nice breakup. Chiefs playing press on the line of scrimmage. Stafford to throw under pressure. He's sacked. Derek Johnson came blowing in from the right shoulder of Matthew Stafford. And the Lions are three and out again with an outstanding blitz by Derek Johnson and that will be the final play of the first quarter. This is the we have played 15 minutes quarter. in London and the Chiefs lead the Lions 7 to 3. From the 27 Alex Smith takes off a lot of running room and he keeps going down the sideline what a run by Alex Smith. Alex Smith had exposed a key oversight in Detroit's defensive scheme, one that he would attack throughout the game, a lack of attention paid to the quarterback as a running threat. On this play, while the secondary stayed deep in coverage, Smith recognized that two linebackers had overcommitted to DeAnthony Thomas and Sharkandrick West, who split to either flat, while the third linebacker stayed with Kelsey on a post pattern. This resulted in plenty of green grass in front of Smith. Though his offensive line gave him ample protection, the decision to run was an easy one. Add a poor angle taken by the strong safety, and Smith makes the Lions pay. Yeah, listen, he had, <clears throat> he had some very positive yards for us at, at needed time, so uh, I thought he did, a, did a, an outstanding job with that. We know he can run. We, we don't really want him to run, but if, he, if it works out that way, that's okay. Um, and I, I thought he, he, he did a nice job. Again, the shotgun snap, Alex Smith. Pocket crumbles, now he rolls left, 10 yard line, inside the five, Alex Smith, angles left, touchdown! Kansas City, Alex Smith thinks he's back with the Utah Utes. The seventh rushing touchdown in Alex Smith's career. You watch Alex Smith, they're gonna get all the receivers out. So everybody's in coverage. Alex Smith says, man-to-man -man coverage. I see all that green grass. I'm going to take off and run. And that's what those eyes are looking at. He's looking down. He sees nothing but green. He says, why not? It worked earlier. Let's make it work again. So the Chiefs off to a quick start. But BJ, I want to ask you about something. You were there at Wembley Stadium for this game. What was that environment like in London? Well, let me start by saying that there's nothing like Arrowhead Stadium, but to see a stadium as iconic as Wembley lit up with all the Chiefs signage and all the fans coming in, got the Chiefs Kingdom flags. I know they showed them on the broadcast, everybody waving them around, but the crowd was very pro-Chiefs, even from before the game. You heard home of the Chiefs during the national anthem. You heard the chop before the game started. So uh, granted, the Chiefs gave all of these fans a lot to cheer about in this game, but it was pretty cool, and that's something all these players and coaches are always going to remember. Yeah, you could certainly hear it on the broadcast in America, but as far as on this field, this was the first game we saw that Alex Smith really used his legs, and that became part of the winning formula for the Chiefs in this streak. It was always funny because it seemed like every game throughout the winning streak, everybody would say that, you know, Alex running the ball is, is important to what they're doing as if they didn't know that he could do that. What he was able to do this season set a franchise record with 498 rushing yards. And you're exactly right. The first game that we really saw become a huge weapon for this offense was against the Lions because he could turn those runs that look like they're going to be 10 or 15 yards. All of a sudden, he's 25, 30, 40 yards down the field. And yeah, that became a huge weapon for this offense throughout this winning streak. With the game slipping away from them early, the Lions were determined to gain some momentum on offense. But a few defensive playmakers had plans of their own. Stafford in the shotgun. Belt high snap. Cox's arm, Hiley's after, and the pass is intercepted! Sean Smith gets the pick at the 37-yard line! Uh, credit display to Tom Buff Hali. He's working against Riley Reef over on the left side, makes him whiff, and then Matthew Stafford throws a ball that's really just not smart. I, I, I take pride in giving this defense energy. When I made that play, you know, it put our offense in a great position to score, so I love it. We're focused on the mission. We want to get something done, something special. And um, we know if we play good defense and try to take the ball away, um, we'll get a chance to win games. 
From the 44, Stafford gets protection. The pass tipped, intercepted. Justin Houston with the second interception of the game by the Chiefs. Following Houston's interception, some superb blocking across the board allowed the offense to move down the field with ease. Quick outside to Anthony Thomas. Brings it into a nice game. Picks up a couple of blocks. Nice moves down to the 29-yard line. Jeff Allen with a big block. And watch Macklin, their top receiver. Selfless. And then Eric Fisher came out with a kick-out block. And it's a 21-yard screen. Dominant play from the offensive line continued into the red zone. From the Lions' eight-yard line, the Chiefs ran a counter play to perfection, thanks in large part to Eric Fisher, who individually drove a defensive tackle deep into the second level. Here's West on the carry. Five to the goal line. He's in. Touchdown. Eric Fisher land just cleaned out two guys. Eric Fisher cleaned out the left B gap all the way to the right B gap and cleaned every line out that he could find. One of the best plays Fisher has had yet in his career. Hey, it's on you guys, right there. Nice job, huh? Yeah. Nice job, nice job. Right, Way, to roll. Nice work. Way to roll. It's been said that those who ignore history are doomed to repeat it. Touchdown, Bear Pasco. 21 nothing, Atlanta. But Andy Reid's Chiefs were well aware of what happened the last time the Lions entered halftime in Wembley Stadium, trailing by three touchdowns. You saw this football team last year, the Lions, when they were down by quite a few points. Hey, let's go! Fight for every damn thing you got! Let's go, it ain't gonna be easy. And he's looking for that shot down the field, and there is Golden Tate, and that is a touchdown. Touchdown throw to Theo Ritter, and this one is... the gun. Our players had seen that uh, game. They, they were aware of it and they make sure they, they kind of kept the pedal in the middle there. This first uh, possession for Kansas City, they can send a message. Well, they can take the fish and chips away from the Lions for good, I think. Chiefs lead by 21 early in the third quarter and driving. Alex Smith sidestepping in the pocket. Clean pocket over the middle. Kelsey with the catch. Peels off the hit. Inside the five. Spins down to the two. That is toughness personified. That's Alex Smith staring down the gun barrel, knowing he's going to get hit, standing in there anyways, and delivering a strike. Smith connected with Travis Kelsey again at the goal line. In a unique play call, Andy Reid used a three tight end set, selling run with West out of the backfield. But Kelsey stepped back from the line of scrimmage and pulled in a screen pass from Smith. His fellow tight ends provided a lane for him and Kelsey used his athleticism to break a tackle and get into the end zone. Now they're gonna throw it outside to Kelsey. George right, turns left, dives for the end zone, touchdown! Kansas City, a tight end wide screen. The aforementioned Parker, Demetrius Harris with blocks, and Kelsey uses his athleticism, and the Chiefs have broken open, a 30-3 lead. A relentless Chiefs pass rush continued to stifle any attempt at a comeback by the Lions. Under pressure, Stafford, yes. he's gonna be sacked! Justin Houston gets him again! No chance for Stafford. Six sacks for Kansas City, the Chiefs take over on downs. And to cap off a nearly flawless day, Alex Smith delivered arguably his best throw of the game. An expertly drawn up play sent Travis Kelsey and Albert Wilson on corner routes effectively splitting Detroit's safeties to either side of the field just enough to get Jeremy Macklin one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker. Recognizing the mismatch, Alex Smith delivered a dart over the linebacker where only Macklin could grab it. Alex Smith to throw over the middle, he wants Macklin, he's got it, touchdown! Kansas City on the post pattern, and j Mac slings the ball into the stands. And the Chiefs lead 37 to three on an excellent throw right in the back middle of the end zone.
And Chase Daniel is in the game for the first time in the regular season after having a great preseason. And Sharkandrick West first at right side. 30, 25, 20. Trying to outrun the Lions secondaries all the way down to the 10. Sharkandrick West has rushed for 97 yards in the game. Spencer Ware is in and running back now and takes it in. Touchdown, Kansas City. The first National Football League touchdown for Spencer Ware. Just watch the offensive line. You see the pullers. You see the, the movement of that line of scrimmage. And Spencer Ware really unimpeded until the end. And then he fights his way in. This offensive line for the Chiefs playing big, big time football. And that's going to be the end of the game. As the Chiefs not only win, they win convincingly, blowing out the Lions 45-10 to in London. Werewolves just took over London right here. Hey, that's a good W today, fellas. Let's go ahead and have fun with this thing right back. Chiefs on three. One, two, three, Chiefs! So it's a 45-10 blowout win for the Chiefs over the Lions. And you take a look at the box score, and the cool thing was there were a number of different Chiefs who got into the scoring section. It's always fun. You're trying to go to the locker room and trying to find guys after the game to score touchdowns. It's a pretty good problem to have when you have six different guys that found the end zone. We had four different guys on this Chiefs team have rushing touchdowns, and that wasn't it. You look at the defensive side of the ball, and Sac City showed up 4,000 miles away from Arrowhead Stadium, too. As five different guys had sacks in this game. They had seven total. I mean, a complete dominant performance on both sides of the ball and you look at the week before against the Pittsburgh Steelers, they, it was a grind out win. This one really set the tone for what this team was going to be over the next several weeks in this winning streak. You had to feel good when they left London. Right, it was a team that was once 1-5, it was now 3-5 and, and they carried that momentum into the bye.